friends, welcome back to my classroom, Michelle Gay, science teacher. Well, today I was just observing this snowflake that I created and I was observing all the beautiful crystals that have formed on this snowflake overnight. Today we're going to talk about crystals, how they form. What, is, what are crystals and what is crystallization? Also, how was I able to get this beautiful snowflake? Today, we're going to learn about crystals. video is a collaboration with my friend Megan from Pennies and Salt. Megan is a wonderful mom and wife. She is a homeschool mom of six beautiful children. If you check out her channel, you're going to find videos on homeschooling, day in the life, cooking videos, canning videos, gardening. Let her know that you came from my channel. I will leave a link below for you so that you can go and visit Megan. Megan's video today is going to be about homeschool Christmas science activities. She is going to show you some wonderful activities that you can do with your students or your children at home. What are crystals? Crystals is a special kind of solid material where molecules attach together forming a repeating pattern and this repeating pattern ends up having unique shapes. So even as I look at this one, I can see the unique shapes of the crystals that have formed on this snowflake. Well, how are they actually formed? They're formed through a process called crystallization. In nature, when crystals are formed, they're formed from a liquid when the liquid is, goes from uh, hot to cool. So even like when you think of uh, lava coming out of a volcano, when that lava cools, crystals can form. And when we do an exploration later, you're going to see how the crystals formed on here from that process when it was hot and then the liquid cooled and the crystals began to attach bonds together on this snowflake. Snowflake crystals are crystals that form in high clouds when water freezes. Snowflakes are uh, unique. Uh, they have six arms, but each snowflake is different. Each forms crystals in its own unique pattern. We're going to explore by creating crystals on an ornament that you're going to create. And we're going to see the process of heat, cooling, and crystals forming. For today's experiment, you're going to need adult supervision because we're using boiling hot water and I recommend that you do not do this on your own. Alright, you will need three to four cups of boiling water, borax, a large container with an open mouth, teaspoon, pencil or craft stick will do, some string, pipe cleaners to make your ornament, 
and scissors when you're cutting your ornament. All right, so for this experiment, I went on and made an ornament. I made a candy cane, and I just took two pipe cleaners, twisted them together, and made this candy cane. All right, you want to make sure the candy cane will fit in the jar without touching the bottom or the sides. Okay. Now, I'm going to remove it, pour in the four cups of hot water. We want to get it full. Now we're going to add three tablespoons per one cup. Now you want to stir it really well and make sure you get the solution from the bottom. We're going to take our candy cane and put, place it in the jar and let it suspend and it has to sit overnight until the next morning. When you take it out the next morning you're going to get its crystallization. It's going to be damp or wet, so you're going to lay it out and let it dry completely. You can make any shape ornament you like or any other design and then put it in the borax mixture and in the end, the next day, you will get something beautiful like this. I know you're excited to see your own ornaments and you can observe the crystals that have formed using a magnifying lens and uh, you'll get to see your own creation and you can save these from year to year, guys. All you have to do is wrap it in tissue paper and put it up for the next year to hang on your tree again. But exactly how does this occur? Well, when you mix that borax and hot water, sus the suspension occurs on the borax. Well, the molecules are heated and they begin to spread apart. And when those water molecules spread apart, it makes room for that borax. And so then the borax have room to move into and that's what makes the mixture cloudy looking. And so, as that cloudy look of the mixture uh, and the molecules are moving fast and spread apart, the water molecules, the borax is suspended and able to begin to attach and form crystals. Now, once the mixture cools, the crystals are attached to the ornament. But one thing, one other thing you will observe when you're through with the process, there's going to be a formation of crystals even at the bottom. And you can see some here, if I put it closer, where there's some crystals that did not suspend. Some of the borax did not suspend, not the crystals. But some of, the, some of that borax is going to form into crystals as the solution cools down overnight. Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you try this experiment out. You can do chemistry any time of the year. Chemistry is fun, it is exciting, and we get to see a process of how things change. All right, guys, I hope to see you next time in my classroom, Michelle Gay Science Teacher.